The Samsung Galaxy S22 series is finally official. I've had some early hands-on time and this is everything you need to know. What's up guys, Saf here on SuperSaf TV and let's break down all of the key differences between these devices SuperSaf style. The first thing to note is that we have three devices like we had last year. So there's an S22, an S22 Plus, as well as an S22 Ultra, which is the most notable device out of the three. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. The S22 Ultra has an S Pen. It has now been combined with the Note series, something which we've been anticipating for some time. And it's gonna be included with the S22 Ultra. It's gonna be enclosed within the device like we've had on previous Note devices. On the S21 Ultra, there was support for an S Pen, but you'd have to buy that separately with a case or something. And this S Pen now has just 2.8 milliseconds of latency, which is significantly lower compared to what we had on previous devices, which was around nine milliseconds. There's also a bunch of new features with the S Pen, including handwriting recognition for up to 88 languages now, that's around 12 more than we had previously, as well as collaboration view, giving you seamless syncing with something like the Tab S8, so you can have controls and things on your S22 Ultra while you have the bigger canvas of the Tab S8. S Pen aside, the design of the devices is also different. The S22 and the S22 Plus do follow a similar design language to what we had on the S21 series, although it is a lot more flatter on the edges. And although the camera module is in a similar place and has a similar design to the S21 series, it doesn't fully blend over like the S21 series did. The S22 Ultra, however, does look quite different to the S21 Ultra, and the cameras are split up, so they're not in a camera module as such, they're all individual. And we have much more of a boxier design like we've had on the Note series in the past. Now the good news is that all devices are using premium materials and they are the same across the board. So we've got armor aluminum frames with Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on the front and back. Gorilla Glass Victus Plus is around 12.5% more durable compared to the previous generation. And we have a matte finish across the board as well, which I really do like. All devices have an IP68 water and dust resistance rating. And Samsung has also repurposed ocean-based plastics from fishing nets for some of the inner components. Size-wise, the S22 is the smallest with the S22 Plus increasing in size and the S22 Ultra being the heaviest and largest device. And with its more boxier edges, I would say that the S22 and the S22 Plus are more comfortable to hold overall, but the S22 Ultra is the only one from the batch here that has a curved display. So the edges do curve in, whereas we've got flatter displays on the S22 and the S22 Plus. And speaking of the displays, the displays are slightly smaller compared to last year. We do have the Infinity-O design with small bezels and a punch out. The S22 has a 6.1 inch display, a 6.6 .6 inch display on the S22 Plus, and the S22 Ultra has the largest 6.8 inch display. Now all devices have dynamic AMOLED 2X technology, so we've got really nice colors, very deep blacks, but there are lots of key differences between the displays and let me break them down for you. Firstly, the S22 and the S22 Plus have a full HD Plus resolution, whereas the S22 Ultra does have a quad HD plus resolution. So you're gonna get sharper details on the S22 Ultra. And although all devices do support the maximum 120 Hertz refresh rate for very smooth scrolling and transitions and gaming, the S22 and the S22 Plus can go between 10 Hertz and 120 Hertz, whereas the S22 Ultra can go all the way down to one Hertz this is gonna make it a lot more efficient. So when you've got static things on the display and you're not really scrolling around, it can go all the way down to one hertz, which is gonna save on battery life. Now there's also a difference in terms of the peak brightness. The S22 has a peak brightness of 1300 nits, which is respectable and still very bright, but the S22 Plus and the S22 Ultra can go all the way up to 1750 nits, making them some of the brightest displays out there. So Samsung is known for their displays and the S22 series is no exception. We've got excellent displays across the board, but the S22 Ultra is definitely the best. Now let's talk about the cameras because we do have new cameras across all of the devices. Sorry to interrupt, uh, side staff here. I just had a really good idea. Okay. So you know how we're working on the Super Staff style camera comparison. I just thought if everybody watching subscribes and hits that bell icon, 
then they'll be able to see it as soon as it's live. You know what I mean? All right, you had side saf. If you want to see the super SAF style camera comparisons, they are in the works and they will be coming live very soon. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss them. Right, the S22 and the S22 Plus have exactly the same cameras. We've got a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a new 50 megapixel primary camera, as well as a new 10 megapixel telephoto camera. The primary camera on the S22 and the S22 Plus does have 23% larger pixels. And the new 10 megapixel three times optical zoom camera uses raw RGB data. So when zooming in, you should be getting up to four times better image quality. Now with the S22 Ultra, we also have some improvements. So there's a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, a new 108 megapixel primary camera with two telephoto cameras. One is gonna give you three times optical zoom and the other is gonna give you 10 times periscope zoom. There's also a laser autofocus sensor. Now the primary camera does have 1.23 times larger pixels. And there's also new adaptive pixel technology which will allow the cameras to capture 108 and 12 megapixel images at the same time, which allows for more detailed and brighter images. The portrait mode has also been improved on the cameras with an AI stereo depth map, which should be able to even identify strands of hair apparently. Now I've only briefly tested this so far, but even in video, it did look quite promising. And speaking of video, there are some improvements in video. Although the maximum resolution and frame rate is still 8K at 24 frames a second, that hasn't changed. You've got some new things like auto frame rate. So this will drop the frame rate depending on the light and you're seen to be able to capture more. Personally speaking, for video, I like to keep a consistent frame rate, so I don't really want it to change depending on when I'm shooting, but hey, it's there. And there's also a new feature called auto framing, which will track subjects within five meters, up to 10 people as well. And this seemed to work pretty well, but uh, I personally can't see myself using it too much. There's also an expert raw mode, which will give you more flexibility to edit in camera and it captures multi-frame raw. And raw format also works across all of the cameras this time. So that's really interesting. Once again, I'm gonna emphasize that I'm gonna be doing a detailed super SAF style camera comparison of the S22 Ultra versus the competition. So do not forget to subscribe because it's gonna be juicy. Right, what's powering the new S22 series? Well, like we've had in previous years, it is gonna depend on your region. So we do have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. And in other regions such as the UK, it will be the Exynos 2200. Now, which one of these is gonna perform better? I'm gonna try to get in both devices from both regions and do some more real world tests. And based on my experience, I'll be sharing that. So again, stay tuned for that. They should be both very capable devices, but uh, Traditionally, the Exynos falls behind the Qualcomm, but we'll see how it is this year. In terms of RAM and storage, we have eight gigabytes of RAM on the S22 and the S22 Plus, available with either 128 or 256 gigabytes of storage. The S22 Ultra will have either eight or 12 gigabytes of RAM with 128, 256, 512 and up to one terabyte of storage. Now that's a lot of storage, but uh, as you may have already expected, there is no expandable memory. We didn't have it on the S21 series and it's not here on the S22 series. You might notice that the RAM is lower compared to what we had last year as well. However, it seems that because of the efficiency of One UI 4.1 with the new chipset, you should still be getting a decent RAM. And there's also a new feature called RAM Plus, which will allow you to allocate some of the ROM as RAM. This is a trend that we're seeing on a few different devices this year. I'm not sure how well it's gonna work, but it should give you that RAM boost if you need it for those more intensive tasks. Now for connectivity, the S22 just has Wi-Fi 6 and 5G, whereas the S22 Plus and the S22 Ultra do have support for Wi-Fi 6E as well as ultra wideband technology. Now it really depends on how much you're gonna be using this. Do you have a router with Wi-Fi 6E? But that is an advantage that you get on the more premium models, the S22 Plus and the S22 Ultra. All devices have stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos, so you've got one speaker in the earpiece and one button firing. Now for the batteries. So the S22 and the S22 Plus actually have slightly smaller batteries compared to what we had on the S21 and the S21 Plus. However, it seems because of the more efficient chipsets, 
They should still give you good battery life. This is something that I'm gonna have to test out. The S22 Ultra does have the same size 5,000 milliamp hour battery like we had on the S21 Ultra, which in my experience did have overall good battery life. Now all devices support 15 watts of wireless charging as well as reverse wireless charging. So you'll be able to charge other devices on the back of these. However, when it comes to wired charging, the S22 can only support up to 25 watts, whereas the S22 Plus and the S22 Ultra can support up to 45 watts. Now there's a catch because as expected, the charges are not included out of the box. So you are gonna have to buy these separately. A 25 watt charger will set you back around 20 pounds or $20. A 45 watt charger is gonna be double or more than double that. So just something to keep in mind. Finally, pricing and availability. The good news is that the S22 series will be starting at roughly the same price as the S21 series did last year based on your region. And if you are interested in picking up the S22, the S22 Plus or the S22 Ultra, then I will leave an affiliate link down in the description which will give you a bit of a discount and give you some options for some really good trading offers. And that is the Samsung Galaxy S22 series. To answer the question that's in the title of this video, which should you buy? Well, if you are a Note fan, somebody that's like the S Pen like I have, then it's a no-brainer. The S22 Ultra is the flagship, the one that you will wanna be going for. However, if you're somebody who's not really into the S Pen, then Samsung has upped the specs of the S22 Plus and bought a few things in line with the Ultra series. So although the cameras are the same as the S22, you are getting a higher peak brightness, you're getting the option of the faster charging, you're also getting things like Wi-Fi 6E and ultra wideband support. And if you do wanna save some money and you want most of the boxes ticked off, but maybe you don't need those additional features and you want something that's a little bit more compact compared to the S22 Plus and the S22 Ultra, then I do think that the S22 is a good option. Overall, I'm very excited for the S22 series, especially the S22 Ultra. What do you guys think of these? Do drop me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. As mentioned earlier on, there's gonna be a bunch of coverage with the S22 series here on the channel. If you don't wanna miss any of it, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do smash that like button for me. Thanks for watching, this is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.